In the summer of 2020, after everything was cancelled or postponed, we packed everything we could fit in our car and started driving towards Colorado to work on our lot. With two pullbacks on our car, we drove through four different states and probably four different seasons, but we also had some fun on the way. We finally arrived to our lot and started working. First order of business was cleaning the bottom of the trees as fire season was arriving. After cleaning up the trees and the brush, we started working on the building site. The number one priority was creating a level and flat enough area that was big enough for the building to fit on. For several days, we continued to work on making the building site bigger and flatter. Just earlier today, we had these huge piles of dirt behind where the excavator is now. You can see the pile of dirt again, but I actually flattened like three of those that you can see behind the excavator. I missed just dug a little more. This is the last part of the land and it's grading. And the building is coming in July, so I think we're going to be ready. A big concern was having enough space for the building, but also enough space around where the building would go so that the concrete tracks can drive all the way around it and pour the concrete for the foundation. Meanwhile, we had to keep moving from Airbnb to Airbnb because none of them had a long enough availability, but at least we made a lot of animal friends. Until we landed here. Our last Airbnb of the summer has turned out to be a major part of our journey to move to Colorado and build our building and our house. Here we met some amazing friends that have been super accommodating and super welcoming anytime we have to come back to Colorado to work on the lot even for three days. And without them we would be months behind in this process or we would have ended up paying way more money to stay at a hotel. And of course we continue to make some really good animal friends. Little margarita. Look at him. Okay, is it? The work on the lot never ended, but luckily we found a good place to take all of the brush so that we can take it off of our land. And there may or may not have been some accidents. Honey, what happened? You almost flipped her off a cliff. I can't. I have it under control. Nerves of steel here. She doesn't even mind. I go way more scared coming up this hill. We unfortunately had to bring down the excavator to pull that out of there, but fortunately, nobody got hurt. One day before we left to go back to Greece, the building side was really starting to look like a building might actually fit on it. However, we knew that when we come back to Colorado, there was a lot of work left for us to do.
guys, what's going on? We're making progress. The road is almost all finished and we're just trying to get a conduit in before we clean it up. Uh, we have about 600 feet of el electric. Um, we have to take high voltage up to the house because it's so far. We have to set a second transformer closer to the house. So we got three inch conduit and two inch conduit going in a four foot hole. Hopefully we'll get started digging Monday. Hey guys, we're back getting the conduit trench dug. It's going pretty well. Now we're back out of the rock. So I don't foresee any major problems after this. We've got to go under two culverts. That will be a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's digging pretty well, pretty fast. Found the first culvert, got to dig under it and then we can get the first hundred feet or so of conduit laid. We're looking good. We've got about half of the trench dug, a little under 300 feet, I think. Getting the pipe started to be glued together. Airbnb, and I have some visitors. Hi. Hi, Othello. Come up here. Did you bring a friend too? Do you have a little tail following you? Oh, this is a good kitty. This is the best kitty. They're very funny every morning. He'll either be outside the door asking to come in, or I'll open the door and he'll come over and explore. Yesterday, I'm pretty sure he slept for like four hours on the bed. And we are fixing up the road again. Talk about inefficiency. You build a road, then you ruin it to do this. Then you have to rebuild it. But we're done. This is day two of this process. So it was not nearly as bad. Uh, very long road. I want to guess 500 feet, but 
I am completely guessing on that. Uh, and I think by the end of the do, we'll at least have the road back to drivable and maybe fix it with the skid steer tomorrow. She's getting the caution tape down, working hard again. She's helping me backfill. I might be buried alive after this mission. You never know. Depends how much I pissed her off today, I guess. The wild woman on the machine today. Okay, that's good. Move down. pretty good we have made it to the box or 10 feet away from the box because that's where they all the stuff the rest is up to them now all right guys sorry we got in a bit of a hurry trying to get this pipe in so we didn't film much of the gluing it katarina glued most of it really um just down in the hole the hole ended up being pretty wide and pretty deep with how much rock it is it's pretty stiff stuff so uh, we glued three together and dropped them in for a while we would just change to gluing one at a time there's only 30 joints it wasn't that that big of a deal so uh, 60 jumps in total 30 of the three inch 30 of the two inch the three inches for the main electric to come up with that high voltage since the road is from the road much droppage and power um, for like a secondary line so we ran a primary up here and put another transformer closer to the house on the shop site so that it's cheaper for wire hey guys we're back at the property again uh, finished up the trench for the most part got to glue one more piece of pipe but we wanted to get on to covering up this steel. Um, unfortunately, we won't get the building up before winter comes. So we need to get it all standing so it's sloping and draining. And I want to put some tarps over it. So I have put a little stringer along so that I can fix the tarp to it good so the wind doesn't pick it up and ruin all the steel. Okay, took me a while to get it all braced good and get the stringer around the bottom to nail a tarp to. Had to build a couple braces where I thought snow might fall into and sit. We've got a pretty high snow load, so I'm guessing this tarp's not gonna do so great, but got to try something. Thank <laughs> you.